What's happening guys? Jihad Paints here. Hope everyone's doing well. Back when I was painting Jay-Z, I also started another painting of French singer Franz Gall, which was a spontaneous surprise leading to multiple musical discoveries. Let's check it out. Ayy. Franz Gall was a French icon and singer who at 16 released her first single. Her career spans numerous decades, styles, and languages. Like other contemporaries such as Serge Gainsbourg, Francoise Hardy, and Jacqueline Taillem, she was part of a musical movement called Ye Ye, a French pop style which was popular in the 60s. But Gaulle would later transition into bossa nova, samba, and even synth pop sounds later on. We'll get to the painting in a moment, but first, I want to delve deeper into one of her tracks. While listening to her on YouTube, I stumbled across Zoe Zoe, a track of hers that had a more tropical sound, which surprised me. I found out it was a bossa nova track. Bossa Nova is a music style originating in Rio, Brazil, but derived from Samba, which has roots in Africa. At the time, Bossa Nova was a globetrotting style of the moment, and France took a particular liking to it. Maybe it's the Romance language connection. Either way, Gaul's unique, breathy voice fit this Brazilian song quite well, and it rekindled my curiosity for Brazilian music. Here are my top Bossa Nova and Samba tracks. Franz Gaul, Zoe Zoe, an up-tempo jam full of bongos, horns, and sunny keys, Gaul soars over this track with her breathy vocals fitting perfectly over the summer heater. It's interesting to hear a French voice over Brazilian sounds, which really shows how much the 60s blended different sounds and genres together. It's really nothing new. Margot's Valley, Summer Samba, a lovely duet about the need for love and a new start. The tender acoustic guitar, subtle string arrangements, and steady percussion is so leisurely and pretty. But while the song sounds romantic and upbeat, at the end, the singers are still left with the thought that it would be nice, giving it a melancholy undertone. Sergio Mendez, Mas Que Nada. The first samba song I heard, this 2006 rework of the classic 70s track keeps all the sunny energy of the original, but beefs up the production and adds some additional verses. It's a great introduction to Brazilian music, and I remember taking my brother's CD and listening to it vividly. Jorge Ben Jr., Take It Easy My Brother Charles. A feel-good song, Jorge tells a brother to take it easy and it's hard not to. The bright horns and sweet acoustic strums transport you to a block party on a summer night. Jorge's sultry voice makes this ode even more endearing. It makes you want to learn Portuguese. There's a looseness and flow to the language that complements the music. Zé Roberto, Lotus. Opening with a driving electric guitar groove before diving into horn burst and kinetic percussion, Lotus blooms with great color and vigor. A fitting song named after a race car. It's one of the first bossa samba tracks I heard that featured an electric guitar. Thanks for listening to my top five samba and bossa nova tracks, guys. Let's get to the painting. I found a reference on Pitchfork where she was eating with chopsticks and thought it was the coolest photo. To be honest, I didn't even think it would come out good, so I didn't film a time lapse. Big mistake, but I took some progress photos along the way. One artist I've been looking to lately has been Haliki Wynn. Her smooth skin textures, lifelike hair, and delicate backgrounds were really inspiring. Painting hair, specifically white people hair, is difficult, so observing her work really helped. For Gal, I started with the eyes first before moving into the hair. It helped to start from the darker roots of the hair, then blend in lighter strands. From there, the painting came together relatively easy. For the background, I drew some noodle-like shapes which I haven't done in a while. The orange frame is a little nod to Edvard Munch's Madonna. The type was actually drawn on another sheet and brought in during Photoshop, something I'm going to start doing in the future. Overall, Gal came out pretty awesome, one of my favorite pieces in a minute. Thanks for tuning in guys. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube and also check out my website at www.jihadpaints.com. Stay safe and stay creative guys. Ayy. Hey.